Hey, Safari Saga fans. Welcome back to another episode of our amazing wildlife series. Today, we're going to explore the shocking world of electric eels. These creatures are not only fascinating, but also powerful. They can generate enough electricity to light up a small town, stun their prey, and even communicate with each other. How do they do it? And what secrets do they hide in their murky habitats? Stay tuned to find out. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy our videos. Electric eels are not actually eels. They are a type of fish that belongs to the knife fish family. They have long cylindrical bodies that can grow up to 2.5 meters in length and weigh up to 20 kilograms. They have no scales, but instead have a thick, slimy skin that protects them from predators and parasites. They live in freshwater rivers and streams in South America, where they hunt for fish, amphibians, and even small mammals. But what makes them truly remarkable is their ability to produce and control electricity. How electric eels generate electricity. Electric eels have three pairs of specialized organs that run along their bodies. These organs are made up of thousands of cells called electrocytes, which act like tiny batteries. Each electrocyte has a positive and a negative side, separated by a membrane. When the eel wants to generate electricity, it sends a signal from its brain to the electrocytes, causing them to open their membranes and let ions flow through. This creates a voltage difference between the two sides of the cell, and the electric current travels along the eel's body. By synchronizing the discharge of millions of electrocytes, the eel can produce a powerful electric shock that can reach up to 860 volts and one ampere of current. That's enough to power 10 light bulbs or stun a human. How electric eels use electricity. Electric eels use their electricity for different purposes. One of them is hunting. When the eel detects a prey nearby, it emits a low voltage pulse that acts like a radar, allowing it to locate and track the prey. Then, it unleashes a high voltage burst that paralyzes the prey's muscles, making it easy to swallow. Another purpose is defense. If the eel feels threatened by a predator, it can deliver a strong electric shock that can deter or injure the attacker. The eel can also use its electricity to communicate with other eels. By varying the frequency and intensity of their pulses, they can signal their mood, intentions and social status. For example, when two males encounter each other, they may engage in an electric duel, where they try to outshock each other to establish dominance. How electric eels adapt to their environment. Electric eels have adapted to their environment in many ways. One of them is their breathing. Unlike most fish, electric eels do not rely on their gills to breathe. Instead, they have a highly developed lung that allows them to breathe air. This gives them an advantage in oxygen-poor waters, where they can survive for hours without submerging. It also helps them to recharge their electric organs which consume a lot of oxygen. Another adaptation is their behavior. Electric eels are mostly nocturnal, meaning they are active at night. This helps them to avoid predators and competitors and to hunt more efficiently. They also have a keen sense of smell, which they use to find food and mates. Electric eels are solitary animals, except during the breeding season when they form temporary pairs. The male builds a nest out of saliva and plant material, and the female lays up to 17,000 eggs. The male guards the nest until the eggs hatch, and then the parents leave the young to fend for themselves. Electric eels are truly amazing animals. They have evolved to master one of the most powerful forces of nature, electricity. They use it to hunt, defend, and communicate. They also have other adaptations that help them to survive and thrive in their habitats. 
Electric eels are a testament to the diversity and complexity of life on Earth. We hope you learned something new and interesting about these electric wonders. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Safari Saga.